Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock by request where it's a review of the movie Return of the Killer Shrews. And this one comes to us from fellow YouTuber James Hayes. <sighs> well, boat captain Thorne Sherman is headed back to the old island where he was at 50 years before. To this time help drop off some members of a film crew who's going to uh, that old familiar island from before to film a reality TV show. And as you would guess, shortly after they get there, the shrews are there too and they are starting to take out members of the crew. And of course... Uh, the reality TV show is led by obnoxious, self-absorbed star Johnny Reno. And uh, of course, uh, the guy who um, the guy who uh, originally created the show is Jerry. He's apparently been on the island all this time, and he made a whole new batch of those things. Well, the shoes start attacking, and it's, uh, well, it's pretty much down to, of course, Thorn, Sam, Mickey, Rook, and Nevis to try to fend them all off. And, uh, Sam, of course, winds up getting a flare gun. They try to get, uh, Jerry to get to the boat, because apparently for some reason the shrews in this movie hate water. And, uh... I guess if you're CGI shrews and real and uh, trying to get mixed in with realistic water, that's just not something's going to work out too well. Um, uh, they try to get Jerry to the to the boat, but uh, well, that doesn't quite work. So Sam gets a flare gun, shoots it towards Jerry and the shrews, and apparently looks like it takes them all out. So they're on the boat taking off and they think to themselves they have all the evidence to prove that everything that happened happened until they realize the camera is still left behind on the island. And the last thing we see is the shrews messing around with the camera, I guess trying to get uh, trying to get their own close-up shots. And Jerry looking into it, saying the words, who's ready for dinner, and then shutting off the camera, the movie stars. James Best, John Schneider, Bruce Davison, and Rick Hurst. So, why did this movie suck? I will say this much. There were quite a few humorous moments in this movie. Some really funny lines. But ultimately, overall, it's the shrews. <laughs> Those things look like the fakest CGI creatures I think I have ever seen for any kind of movie. Low budget, uh, big budget, anything. There's probably the most evident that the shrews were fake is when they attacked Johnny Reno. That looked that looked way 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 fake. A lot of the special effects in this movie were kind of bad. Uh, there's one point where some of the survivors are at this shack and they're trying to uh, build sort of an electric fence and. Uh, and, uh, uh, what was this? Um, and Rook almost gets electrified, but, uh, turns out it's one of the members of the crew. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, Johnny Reno's, um, assistant, Stella. Yeah, that, that scene looked really, really fake. <laughs> And Johnny Reno can't seem to figure out if he wants if he's trying to play the crocodile hunter or John Wayne. He's just going in between on that one. There's 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 even a scene where where Johnny uh, Thorne and Rook have a moment together talking. And the thing is, they all three used to be on a TV show that was very popular by way of a certain car that was driven around in the TV show. And I'm. I'm and, um, 
and it was, you know, very popular show in the '80s. And um, can you guess what? Can you guess what it was? That's right, Knight Rider. Yes, <laughs> that's right. John Schneider, uh, James Best, and Rick Hurst were all in the TV show Knight Rider. Anyway, um, yeah. So they have a moment and they start talking and just sitting there, kind of going like, "Oh Lord." But probably the best. The best, uh, the best quote from the movie to me is where, uh, is where uh, Thorne says, "Did he say save a dead man? How can you save a dead man?" <laughs> that was pro- that. That to me was the best part of the whole movie. Is when he was when he said that. And I just, I just laughed really, really hard. There are some laughable moments in this movie, uh, some laughable lines, but ultimately, overall, it's a horrible, terrible movie. But there you guys have a review of Return of the Killer Shrews. Special thanks to James Hayes for his request. Oh, James. <laughs> oh, yeah. Be ready for me to send you a box full of full of uh, bad, bad bagels. <laughs> uh, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. And uh, hopefully one of these days, James will have himself some videos up on his channel. Uh, if you have a horror, sci-fi, horror, comedy, horror, fantasy, horror movie that might have been a sequel that didn't take 50 years to come through, send it my way and I'll get on to ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. And until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.